Hey everybody, welcome to Witcher 3. I am Neg Primer, and uh, we are going to track down this hunter who's going to lead us to the griffin's dude. nest. That it's uh, that it has left. It has actually left its nest. We are not in danger of coming across the griffin here. Mislav. You, Mislav. Hear that? Wolves? No, wild dogs. Yes, more dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. I don't know Just if like that's humans. true. Aye, they've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You were Witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. <clears throat> what gave it away? I'll show you, sure. But uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog, a kick in passing, no more. So these stray mutts form packs. They're gaunt, guts stuck to their spines, covered in scabies. But they just won't die, because they're too late. Attacked another one. Okay, I'm not actually not sure which sword. It does make me use the steel sword. Wow. Look out, buddy. I should have just let him take care of all of them, apparently. Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's hunter. But that was before... Well... A long time ago. Before what? Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. So I'm a weirdo. I'd rather not talk about it. Oh, I'm a freak too. I'm a freak too. Why? But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. We're wolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that <laughs> the Lord son. How casual. We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Middle Ages oppression. Ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Oh, not much. Not my kind of game. Not that things yeah, changed survival until recently. Make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No Griffin can hear me nor spy me. So he's taken me to the nest. Hello. Twas here. Oh, this is where I found the Nilfgaardians. Headless. The other hung from a branch. 
rage, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. <laughs> I, can, I can just be like, eh, fuck them, they were no guardians. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. I don't particularly like the Nilf Guardians, but uh, to be honest, the North isn't a whole lot Nilf better. Nilf were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. Let's see. These prints are older and deeper, heavily armored. Nilf Guardians probably. Okay, well, we found another marker. Let's take a look at where we're at in the scheme of things. So this over here is actually an old town. Uh, we kind of don't want to be over there, to be honest. Uh, I, I won't go into details, but there's, there's a reason I want to kind of steer clear of there. Hello. Why is take all? Okay. You can hear there's like a wolf or something out over there. B is jump. That didn't work, but uh, it did. <laughs> That's not what I meant to Griffin's do, but it did work. What remains of it, at least. So yeah. Corpse is a couple of weeks old, still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones, horse, dog, human. A few months worth. This. Female. Larvae and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. So yeah, we know what kind of griffin it is. We know about its age. We know the relationship to the other griffin. Uh, we know how this one was killed. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Should talk to Vesemir. So I just leveled up here. So yeah, they crept on her, crept up on her while she was sleeping, and killed her. Earned. Only a human could do this. You can hear this noise. Uh, so this one... You want me to go over to the character panel? Because I just leveled up. So I just hit level 2. Yep. Uh, you, build, uh, you get ability points every time you level up. So they're different... They're different branches. Uh... Uh, general alchemy signs combat so combat's a good one to invest in but then again so is this uh the general stuff do stuff like increase maximum vitality uh vitality regenerates during the day faster uh 
critical hit damage. Uh, piece of heavy armor increases maximum vitality 5%. Maximum toxicity. We haven't really gone into toxicity, but we'll come across that eventually. Adrenaline points increase. Uh, adrenaline generation. Stamina level. Or rather, uh, signs can be cast using adrenaline points if stamina is too low. And crossbow bolts deal more damage. I think the big thing here is increasing maximum vitality right now. And then once you've done that, you have to actually equip these abilities. It's very weird how that works, but yes, you have to actually equip the abilities. Uh, unlocked at level 4, 6, 8, 10, right? Just every two at first, and then every three. And then every four. And these, you can actually put, uh, once we get into mutagens, you put mutagens in there, and they're affected by the color of what we have equipped over here. It's all really, it's actually rather fascinating systems. Uh, so they're talking about, they're just saying, make sure to prepare before battle. Don't just go rumming into it. Place of power. It's gotta be. And then here we have a place of power. Bam. Quinn sign, and it also gives us one more ability point. So even though we're only level two, we got another ability point for that. So here... I'm going to definitely invest in sword. Wolf school defense techniques. So, fast attack damage, strong attack damage, deflect arrows while parrying. It's a good one. Time slowed while aiming crossbow. Uh, more, an additional 15%, so it already happens. Uh, adrenaline point loss. You also have the signs that make each sign more uh, more powerful, which you know it's really it's really like you gotta try to do potion overdose thresholds increase. Uh, oil applied give a three percent chance of tar of poisoning. Time is slowed while aiming bombs. Uh, increases maximum toxicity by one for each formula known. If potion toxicity above zero, time automatically slows when the enemy is about to perform a counterattack. So like I said, I think I want to put in... I'm actually using fast attack a lot. Uh, deflecting arrows will come in handy later on, but not so much right now. And then you unlock these as you put more and more points into it. But they just kind of match everything as they go down. So yes, we're going to do slow attack, or fast attack damage increase right now. And yeah, like I said, you have to equip them in order to actually get the bonus for it. Let's take a look at the world map. There's another question mark over here. Uh, our enhanced weapons, obviously, will be gone by then. But we will have our Qu Quinn sign. So Quinn is... Oop. Quinn is the protective shield. So it'll make our protective shield stronger as we fight these deserters over here. Which is super valuable. Because, yeah. <laughs> I have to wait for that to regenerate. Ha! And yes, you can get them to kill each other. By accident. Woo. This guy is blocking all of my attacks. Oops, what is parry? Okay. Slip. 
Okay, and then there is still this archer over here. So I'm apparently... Damn it! Okay, fine. I hate these guys with the blackjacks. They're actually a pain in the ass to kill. So yes! Got a little bit of combat there. I didn't do particularly great at it. But uh, I didn't die. So that's always a plus. I like not dying. And we get to loot their stuff, which will be great, because they'll probably have some healing items, they'll have some... What is that noise? They'll have some diagrams of some swords and some stuff. Of course, beer. They always have beer. Different kinds of beer. But yeah, so that was, um, that was the thing. <laughs> so we cleared off two more question marks with each one of those, so you can see that there's like a, a fairly decent variety to them. Uh, it's not until Skellige that they really get repetitive. We're actually not going to go talk to Vesemir right away. Let's go! There's one wolf out here, but if you look at the map, you can see there's bodies all over the place. Okay. So let's start out here. Where is it? Picking stuff up can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> and we got the wolf. We got some raw meat. Raw meat's good because we can eat it. I think we can cook it as well. Jeez, they're bot they're literally just bodies. Uh, let's see if this one's gonna follow me. Look at this, though. Man. Oh, man! He took a... He was level 5. He did take a big chunk out of me. And it's actually been a while since we saved. Oh, no! One of the big pitfalls of this game is that we're now all the way back here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cut the recording and we're gonna come back uh, after we've caught up to where we were. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, so yeah, I, like I said, I don't mind necessarily even having you watch me do repeated fails, but when I lose you know, 10 minutes of progress and stuff, then, uh, then I'm gonna cut it. Because I don't want to watch, I don't want to force you guys to watch me play the same thing over and over and over again. Because that will no doubt happen a lot, since I am playing on, uh, not the easiest difficulty. I am playing on the hardest difficulty. And I don't know. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put to, to, get through that, you know? It's a little bit rough. So what we're actually gonna do right now is we are not going to go talk to Vesemir, because that'll start this whole quest thing. And I'm not ready to put up a fight against the Griffin yet. I'd like you to forge something for me. Let's see what he can forge. So he could go ahead and forge this upgrade, but I need some wire and I need some leather. 
scraps, leather scraps and some wire. I bet you he has both those things. How much do I need? Two leather scraps, two wire. So like I said, he does have those things. Two leather scraps. Okay. So yes, we'll have him craft that for us. So long. So yeah, he's an armorer, which means he'll make us better armor. So if we go to our inventory now, we have... We're going to mark a bunch of these off because we don't need them starred. What is that? Tawny oil. Stamina regeneration. Wait a second. Oh, I have monster brains. I do not have drowner brains. I did also pick up this book. Uh, which, you know, there's a bunch of reading. There's there's books in this game. Like actual like real reading books. Which I can store in my stash now. So if we come over here to chest armor. Oop. We can see that it's been upgraded to the warrior's leather jacket. We didn't really look at the at what it had before, but now it's now it's improved. It looks the same. Not all of the armor looks the same. In fact, just switching our gloves out here. You can tell between the two of these there's quite a difference. What's the difference between the two of these? These, the ones I'm wearing right now. How do we... Oh, cool, you can sort stuff now. That's great. So let's... Er... I cannot equip this because it requires level 3. Same thing with the blackjack, but I don't want to equip that. Uh, so yeah, you can tell we get uh, we get some stuff, and then you can compare. Yeah, and if you look at the bottom, you have a trophy that you'll have. Uh, those will be like the griffin's head once we kill it. There are only saddlebags, there's blinders, there's the actual saddle, which gives more stamina. Saddlebags, like, carry more weight. Blinders reduce its fear rate. And Trophy does different effects. It doesn't have any solid one effect. It's entirely dependent on which trophy you have. So yeah. That gives us a little bit of a go. Rune Stones. Which is this right here. And then I can slot it in this sword. Pow. So that rune stone gives me additional armor piercing. Let's see if I go... So you can see there's these question marks all over the place. Uh, dangerous, dangerous stuff lies at those places. I thought I found that one, but for some reason it not it didn't get marked off. Maybe there's an additional piece to it or something that I skipped over. But yeah, the, all of these houses and everything, well not all of them, but most of these houses you can go inside. Uh, you just gotta actually find the door. And if it's open, you could go inside here, potentially loot the house. Uh, there will definitely be a time for that, but some of the times it's not worthwhile. Wanted honeycombs will take play top coin to mirror the herbalist. 
Is it true? Really? Oh, and women. So he <laughs> that's funny, he just had a rumor. Whose field is that the other side of the river? That well, women only bathes well, every three months. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he Yes, yes. This boy and will he venture out to inspect his grain any time soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Okay. Yes. We'll go ahead and what talk to Vesemir. I don't think it'll force us. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun. Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. <laughs> Too well, not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Near a century. So, Geralt here is, you know, probably like in his 90s. <laughs> Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of the Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bands that we have to kill the griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine woods. The Nilfgaardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, newer piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that Zugal in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. So yeah, we're not gonna trigger that yet, but a uh, little bit of information there is that obviously witchers do not age at the same rate. But... Later, Vesemir. Geralt is still an old man. I guess, comparison, he's easily like in his 60s, for what we would think. But, uh, yeah, so once we actually go talk to him, he will, uh, he will want us to go kill the griffin, I believe. But yeah, so now we have this stash, and I'm not entirely sure how this will work, because this is all new. Uh, but basically, all this stuff I can end up selling. Unless I really wanted to hold on to the hatchet, but I don't think there's ever a reason to use, uh, other stuff. So these uh, only take up a 0 0.01 point. And as you can see in the top the top of the screen, a little bit to the right, it says 24 out of 60. That is our weight allowance. Uh, presumably equivalent to about 60 stone. Uh, is the Mac... Well, that's really heavy, actually. 60 stone. Kilos, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but it's it's basically what we can fit on our horse, and that's why saddlebags will fill it. 60 kilos is really light for a horse, but maybe with the added weight of a human, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I know very little about these things, but it's an arbitrary number. This takes up 0 0.01 of that 60. Uh, 0 0.01, and that's for the entire stack. So... The, both of these, these are not usable money, Orin and Florence. They need to be exchanged for usable money because we use crowns as our currency. Uh, we have this key, which doesn't do us any good. You have all this junk, which is just that. It's junk. It doesn't do any good. Uh, but look, if you look at it, it's... Uh, it, it's takes up quite a bit of weight sometimes 
and it's good to be able to unload this stuff. And the reason we would want to hold it down is what it says down there, that it can be dismantled into crafting components. Or sold. But uh, none of this stuff really sells for a lot, except these wolf hides will sell for a lot. And that's not necessarily the value I'll get for them either, what it's showing down there. For right now... For right now... Let's just put all of this stuff in there, uh, including the swords and such. And I don't know if there are limitations, what kind of limitations there are on this size. I don't know if what we see here, is that the maximum amount I could put in there? I don't know any of that information. Uh, what I do know is we are running, we have run out of time. So I want to thank you all for watching. When you come back, we will not be talking to Vesemir. We will instead, I think actually it might be worth trying to do this Devil by the Well contract. So we're still in a bit of a tutorial phase. This Witcher contract uh, is actually kind of an interesting mission. It'll teach us a number of different things. Uh, it might also be worthwhile to go try to kill some drowners so that I can get some potions. But drowners, I believe, will be level 4 or 5. So I don't know. But uh, I want to thank you all for watching. When you come back, we will we will go do one of these things.